Just be grateful, man, for the little stuff you have, roof over your head, food in the refrigerator, only because it's new. Just be grateful. Because it could be worse. Shoot you in your own game. Why you pull me off? Because you black. What? Why my auntie's fucked? Because it's crazy. I got my sign check. I'm looking crazy check. So we just gonna see how this this play out, man. Um, yeah. Let's get straight into it. We doing the what's in my bag? I have a cup, some tissue. Another marker. Some more tissue. Got my first cup of coffee. Somebody just asked me, did I want coffee? So I said, yeah. Hopefully the whole day go like this. I'm out. So hopefully I see one of my homeless friends and I, I give to him. You know? Uh, I appreciate it, guys. Whoever you are, whoever you are, I appreciate you. So I seen one of my homies, homie. Here you go. Now, do I be down here every day? No, but you almost here. So I don't see you every day. I don't see yeah, you every day. Yeah, okay, yeah. now be real, though. You, you ain't got to do it for this. I do see you. Oh, okay, I, day, okay, all right, cool. All right, I ain't saying I give you money every day. I see you every day, though, don't I? You never give me no money. <laughs> you think you're fine? You lie. <laughs> this ain't lying. So look, hopefully I get some money today, but man, everything going good, man. I just, I'm ready for it to be over already. Now he just told me something before he left. He said, if you look at yourself like what you're doing is crazy, they gonna look at you like you crazy. So that just really changed my whole mindset because, I mean, it's been, what, a, a, a few minutes and I feel crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you, like, I feel crazy doing this, but it's necessary if I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? Um, so what he just told me just changed my whole mindset. So I'm gonna, I already, step one was getting myself out of my comfort zone. So I'm down there. Step two is to just clear my mind and just, Really, really ask for help. Really ask for help. So this is the type of shit that happened. The line is right there, but they park way over here. Or they'll be further down. Now my thing is this. I don't do that. Anybody, everybody that ever been down on their leg, I still treat them like human. And that's the whole reason me doing this. Cause it's like, you don't have to do that. All you gotta do is say no. That's all you gotta do is say no. You feel what I'm saying? That's all you got to do is say no. All they ask for is a little help. And my thing is for people to be right there in the line way right there. It's like, yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. We all human, man. We all human, bro. That's it. That's all. We all human. For real, for real. And we human. We human, right? We human what? Dignity like everybody else. You feel me? Like, come on, man. No, I don't do that. Don't do that. Look, she looked straight down. She like, I don't want no part. She looked straight down. But that's just, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wait, but look. It's crazy, bro. I ain't never been through no shit like this before <laughs> then, man. Are you from the all gear guards, 132nd and Jackson, bro. I swear to God, I never beat in a bucket a day in my life, and I never thought I would. Right. Never did, bro. And it should just. finally did it, it was like, okay, I'm, I can do this better than anybody. Right. Can strike everything. Quick update, haven't made no money, 
it's just the constant mindset of somebody judging me or they think something bad before they just think a person just struggling down on his luck. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just about to get out here, man, and just try to do my thing. Took off my shirt to give me more confidence. But hopefully it turned out right, man. Uh, turn out right. I'm hungry. I'm getting kind of thirsty, so we're going to see what it is. We're going to see what it is. I just need to build up that confidence of not caring what people think. A lot of people say they don't care what people think, but in reality they do. You feel what I'm saying? So we're going to see what it is, man. The next light, I'm going to just start getting out here, man. For real, for real. I'm going to start getting out here. So I'm out here. It's three lanes. They chose to be in the farthest lane. Now, what am I supposed to do? You feel what I'm saying? It's just crazy. I don't even know what to do. And that's all I'm saying. It's like I got to build up the confidence to do this shit. But they don't want to show no love at all. Somebody just... A man, I right, look. A man just pulled up on me. He told me he liked it how we talk, how we conversated about hustling. Because he said, he was like, yeah, I heard y'all say something about hustling, going to new spots or something like that. I'm like, yeah, we was talking about how, uh, like how people be acting, you know what I'm saying? Or how people be playing us and... You know what I'm saying? Just keep it here with like how they be doing, like how they be doing with other people outside of this thing. So he's like, yeah, I like that, bro. You keep staying like that, bro. You try to change yourself and be a better person for you. So he gave me the two dubs, and he was like, yeah, if I get a chance, I'm going to hit him too. He pointed towards you, and then he hit my homie with a dub too. And then he was like, y'all be safe. I'm going to be back. Y'all going to see me again. Bro, right. you see that? Like, it's, it's, it's people like that that I really cherish and like, I got rained on. Um, what else? It's just a humbling experience, man. Uh, you know, I'm learning. But, yeah. So I got some money. So we gonna count it when the time is right. But now, I'm a, I'm a, be out here for another 40, 50 minutes, and then I'm going to go find shelter. So, I decided to exercise. I was so bored. I decided to exercise because I was so bored. It ain't nothing really to do out here. We walk down the street every day, all day. So, I decided to take the chef out on working out. I'm tired, you see I'm dripping. I think they scared to get, to get me money though, I don't know. I ain't getting no money since I've been working out, so I'm gonna try this for another hour, then I'm gone. So, I found a little shelter. This is how much I made though. We got a five. Um, a dollar. For sixty. Okay. So I got a little something. To give me something to eat, give me something to drink. I'm gonna keep hustling though, man. I appreciate everybody that gave me something. I swear to God. I appreciate everybody that gave me something. I'm learning a lot though. Um, I even got a tour with a lady. And I blew my cover. You know, and I just had to tell her like, we all human. We all gonna die. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm gonna uh, support somebody that did something wrong. And, like, uh, molestation or rape or something, but you just never know. And why would you assume that off the back, like, that's what he did? You feel what I'm saying? Like, it, 
it's just crazy, man, how people mind things. Like I told her, like, we human at the end of the day, man. Like, ain't none of us perfect. You done been down for, oh yeah, I done been down, but I, I, I pray to the God and yeah, okay, well, everybody not like that. You know, you just can't wait for blessings to come. You gotta go and get it. And asking somebody for a spare chain is a way of going to get it. Like, oh, I, I just ain't understand her anger. And she was so mad. I just got out working. I don't feel like talking. And, but why you gotta be like that, though? Like, why? It's just making me think, man, uh, I'm about to go further down. <sighs> I'm getting home, but I'm going to try to hold out. I definitely got a lot of hours to go, so I'm just, I'll probably just chill right here. Ain't no police coming and try to stop me, so we're going to see what it is, man. But it, it, it definitely uh, opened my eyes. And it kind of hum uh, humbled me in a way. It kind of humbled me in a way, for real. So this experience has been humbling. Um, I got the time for somebody, it's, it's three o'clock. I earn eight dollars. tell y'all anything, just be grateful, man. Um, this shit tastes like heaven. You be honest with you. It tastes good for you. Y'all don't even eat with nothing. If I can say anything, just be grateful. If I don't even eat this, then see, I'm oh my God. When I say it tastes good, that's an understatement. Just be grateful, man, for the little stuff you have, you look over your head, food in the refrigerator, I don't care if it's new, just be grateful. It just could be worse. I ain't never did this in my life, man. And I just wanted to do it just to see, like, what do they go to? Every day get doing this? Every day. The days I wanna like I literally just wanna lay down, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna lay down in my bed, just chill. I can't even do that. I can't even do that. But I'll be back man, day almost over with. Three o'clock. So it's good. Now what I don't want to happen is me having to use the bathroom and I can't use the bathroom. You feel what I'm saying? Like I almost seem like I gotta go, but I'ma try to hold I'm gonna try to hold it, man. Oh my god, it's crazy. I don't know where to use the bathroom but Hopefully I can go to a restaurant, buy some. I only got two dollars left, so hopefully. I can um, go somewhere and use, uh, buy something for like $2 and use the bathroom. I don't know though, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to see what it is. I got to use the bathroom. <laughs> I got to use the bathroom. I don't know how to feel about that. But I'm gonna go back to where I originally was because I guess it's, it's more comfortable over there. If it rain again, I can cover myself. Um, if I gotta use the bathroom, I can dip off. Um, if I wanna sit down comfortable, I can sit down comfortable. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take this all in though.
you know, and, and uh, really tell you guys how I really feel. You know, and it's crazy, man, because we don't know what people go through or did to really become homies, you know? Um, like I was telling you earlier, we assume the word. Oh, uh, what would you do with two dollars? If you had two dollars left, what would you do? Would you save it? Would you buy you a, a, a dollar hot uh, coffee or hot cocoa or something? Or you know, would you buy you a slushy, a pot? What would you do with your two dollars? I ain't gonna lie, I'm thinking about risking it all. That that little meal I had wasn't enough, you know. But if I do risk it, I gotta go back hustling. I gotta go back hustling. And I don't wanna go back hustling. So, these are the things, you know, I gotta think about just for the day. But I got $2 left. I'm tired. I just wanna lay down. It's crazy. I don't know what to do. It's absolutely nothing to do. Like, I'm so bored, I'm bored out of my mind. To think they do this day and night, every day, I take my hat off to them, man. Every single day, I don't have nothing to do. Everywhere I go, people looking at me crazy. If I work out, I get a lot of eyes on me. People honking horns and stuff, you know. But I don't want to work out. I didn't worked out to the max. My muscles sore. I done did a thousand push ups, a thousand dips. I'm just tired, man. I'm bored. It's not nothing to do but think and walk and sit. It's crazy. I'm bored out of my mind. Yeah, I'm watching the kids play ball now. Nah. I remember I was uh I was that young playing ball, man. It was just all about fun, for real, for real. Now it's all about yeah. going crazy. Told you I was gonna come, didn't I? I told you I was gonna hunt, huh? Here you go. I think eight dollar. Me, that's it though. What else is it to do? Like, I don't, what else is it to do? Every day you just do that. Yeah. So where you was in the morning? Uh, Early in the morning? So where y'all wake up? <laughs> it's almost time for me to pack it up. I learned a lot, man. You know, I can adapt to really anything, but this one. So two fourteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I don't have the door to uh, open. Open and close. Uh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. And I get tired of that, and I blame others mm -hmm. because I don't have it. Right. And it's not their fault. Right. I'm happy with just getting by right now because I've been so fucked up. Mm -hmm. I'm an artilleryman. Mm -hmm. I went to class to be an officer. I just could not do them. Could not do them. Couldn't get past the rules. And people punish me for my lack of understanding. And I always put God first. And I was always a, a nice guy. Right. But. No matter what I do, it seems like it's not enough.